Well, if you're like me, you were dumb enough to buy one of these tarp garages for 250 bucks, a tractor supply, and thinking it's going to be a permanent structure. Well, it's not. You got to get the snow off of them. Otherwise, they crush. You could hose them down with a little spray, you know, it's like a, uh, well, what do they call that stuff? Armor all and stuff in the summertime to help lubricate the tarp and so don't rot and snap and come apart. But it's inevitable. Five years, they're gone. So just think you're buying yourself time. How do you clean it off? Broom from the inside. Walk inside and strike the roof and bounce it off down to the side. And that'll get the snow off the top. Actually, it's always about 30 degrees warmer in these things when the sunlight hits them. The second the sunlight's off of them, you freeze instantly. But if you need temporary uh, enclosure, this is a cheap way out. Kind of spooky in here. You get all the weight of this snow up on these rafters that goes across. As you can see, they give you two of those things. I made extra, so I got four of them right across to secure it. You really need the four, even if you get a snow. We only got a half a foot. And whammo, we got hit. This, start at the bottom, kind of like jiggle and push. But you do like this side, and then come over to this side. Because if you do one side going right down, you got all this weight on this side pushing to that side. Could get dangerous. Could crush whatever you got inside here. So I'm going to get the broom and start hacking at it. Here I am, still in the belly of the beast. Now the last ones to do. Like I said, one side the other, one side the other. Work your way back, because you do one side completely, and it could all come down on you. It's a pain, but what's the alternative? You leave your stuff out in the snow. Right, miss? And we don't want that now, do we? No. You being, you being a good girl?